Okay, so carrying on from our GA4 setup, um, we've got all our tags created, but we do need to make them fire to be able to track them uh, within our GA4 account uh, and to be able to set them as a conversion. So it's much like Facebook ads in that way, you create the tags and the events, they populate within GA4, and then once they're populated, you can set them as a conversion. You can't set them as a conversion until they fire, which is slightly annoying to be honest, but whatever. Um, so all I'm gonna do is go through, I'm gonna make sure all my tags fire. Um, I can do that using the debug mode within uh, Tag Manager. Um, so that'll be useful because I can check that the tags are firing in the first place. And I've got my analytics real-time uh, overview, which to be honest, this is the only reason I ever use real-time is just to check that tags are firing as expected. So uh, I'm just gonna go through all my tags and make the fire. So first one is my CV download, uh, which is on my resume page. It's actually here as well. So do that, check out my CV. Uh, weirdly, this is the thing that happens the most on my website. Um, so definitely good to make sure that that is tracking correctly. So I've got my GA4 CV download firing there. Um, this Ninja form submission tag is just a watcher tag. It's not actually my um, submission form because that's UA form fill and GA4 form fill. So um, maybe I should fill in that form next. So um, I can get to it here. So let's fill in this form. Okay. And we then here, uh, we should be able to see. Did I fill it? Yeah. J4 form fill, UA form fill. Why have they not fired? Oh, they have Cool. J4 form fill, UA form fill. Great. Um, so that's those ones fired. What else have we got to do? Uh, we've got an IG click and our LinkedIn click, and that's actually all. So I'm not tracking that many things on my website. Um, whatever. So to be honest, I don't even know why I have an Instagram link or if I do anymore. Um, Let's see. Um, so we can click on my LinkedIn. I have that because, you know, why not send people to my LinkedIn? We can be friends. Um, let's see if that has fired. We click on here. Got a UA LinkedIn click, IGA4 LinkedIn click. Sweet. Um, and I need to find the, let's close these, the Instagram link on my website. Now, I actually think I might have taken the Instagram link off because. It seemed kind of an essay. Um, I don't see it there. This is this is an article about Instagram. No, that is linking to Instagram. Um, that's literally just linking to Instagram. Okay, well, let's see. That's uh, that has fired my Instagram click. But to be honest, um, I don't need to track people just clicking on Instagram. So um, that's actually quite useful to see that because I think I will probably remove that tag because that is a waste of time. Um, so you can either delete those or you can pause them. Um, why not just pause them, eh? Not really necessary, either way. Um, okay, so. Now I can check in my analytic real time that those tags have fired. So um, CV download, that's good. So I wanted to make sure that fired. Um, we've also got file download. So that's a just generic analytics tracking that. So perhaps I didn't actually need to create that CV download tag. I could have just made this file download firing a conversion. But uh, if you've got multiple forms, it's nice to be able to track them anyway. Um, I've got my LI click tag my contact form fill tag, my IG click, which I think I'm not gonna track, um, and that's all my tags firing. So I'm happy with that. Uh, one thing to bear in mind also, uh, GA4 doesn't really like reporting same day data at all. Um, so I'm gonna leave those. Now that I know they're fired, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, um, and tomorrow I can actually set those events as conversions, uh, which will take like 30 seconds. But I will show you how to do that later. Goodbye.